Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the New York Jets and the Arizona Cardinals, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, New York Jets. Taking on the chance from the other side, the NFC, the Arizona Cardinals. Well, with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, safe to say it has been a long time since we talked about the Jets in the Super Bowl. You have to go back to Joe Namath in Super Bowl three to find their last involvement in this game. And Brandon, when I go back through the recesses of my mind, when Joe Namath was running off the field, Super Bowl three. Ah, forget it. I'm not counting up those years. Let's just say it's been a long time. There's Jets fans who stuck around through it all. And what a night this can be if they can finish off what they've set out to do. And meanwhile, for the Cardinals, this is an organization that's made it to the big game just once before. They lost to the Steelers in Super Bowl 43. But this team committed to bringing that first ever Super Bowl title to the state of Arizona. And along the way, they've retooled a number of times. Coaching staff, front office, roster turnover. Finally, they got it right. And they... The final act of the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 40, right around the 39. So solid starting field position. Here come the Cardinals, and it is Kyler Murray from Oklahoma who leads them out. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got a calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Right to the air. Here's Murray. And incomplete to open things up. That's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Here's Murray. Get rid of it. He's taken down. Hassan Reddick just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. All right, partner. I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's caught inside the 30. A huge play there for Arizona. 48 yards. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky been great because I think on that one he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer instead the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap now an option play on second down and all the way to the two yard line there before crossing over out of bounds an excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down Here's 
Here's Murray. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Brandon, this is the Super Bowl. A touchdown scored in any game is big. In this one, it's... Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. So the drive there took six plays. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. there over the middle to start things out and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line that's a good way to start the drive 17 yards and a first down defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive offense you gotta want to get out there and get those points back right now and off to a good start First carry for the Iowa State man, Bruce Hall. Yeah, he's able to skip away from that first defender on his way to a pickup of five. From the 47, it's second and five. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Now it's Rodgers. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Murray now to throw. Throw left side to Higgins. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. They'll 
They fake the handoff. Now Murray out to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Now this is a feeling I can relate to all too well. Deflation on third and short. Excellent coverage. Took away all the short routes, but the one person who wasn't accounted for, the quarterback. And he used his legs to hot foot it for a first down. On first and ten is counter. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. So possession one ended in six. Possession two likely going to end in a punt. Yeah, that's okay. They just got to get back to what they worked on in the opening drive and continue to make a few adjustments along the way. It won't be exact because the defense will make a few adjustments themselves. Just get back to your game plan. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. Play action. Now Rodgers. Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Murray a give. This is Connor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. From the 41, here's a second and eight. To throw is Murray. Complete to Michael Wilson. And he's going to get this down near the 30 yard line. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Let's 
to throw. It's Murray. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here's a second and five. Connor up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. It's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They'll run here with Connor. End zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor. A six yard touchdown run. And the Cards will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. And certainly some credit there for that touchdown goes to the offensive line. They never get the credit they deserve in the stat sheet, but they are the reason that they got the points. Excellent job up front, clearing the way for the score. Prater for the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. That time, a six-play drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The New York set to take the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Now Hall to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Williams the man in motion left. There's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead, a give the Hall up the middle. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Here is third down and four. Throwing now is Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Rodgers with a pass caught by Conklin. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and five. Now Rodgers. Now quick throw there is incomplete. Garrett Wilson, the one he was looking for, and it's third and five. Here's Rodgers. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's taken down inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. They get the USC man, Elijah Vera Tucker. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. This act quickly to Williams. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 14-0 is our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday, Brandon Garden, Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Rodgers going to throw. Finds Lazard quickly on the slam. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. You want to put together a long drive? You've got to be able to convert on third down, and they've done exactly that on this one. Sure enough, came up with another conversion right there. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Now a second and ten. On second down, a run with Hall. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Trying to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. Paul again. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are on the board here in this Super Bowl. The touchdown was scored by the runner, but the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly. Allowed him easy access to the end zone. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run.
Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. There's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series for those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Hassan Reddick. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. How about that part? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Brees Hall helped leading out this offense for another series. So a six-carry drive, the last go-around touchdown on the end of it. We'll see if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball more and more and more. In fact, we keep a ball in the booth just for demonstration purposes. You're holding it right now. I'm going to give it to you. Is it, is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, right? So keep giving it to him and let him do his work. <laughs> it's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Here now a third down and eight. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's patience to be admired right there because he looks left, looks right, and waits for the right guy to come open, spots him in the middle of the field, and delivers. They'll give to Hall. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 35, here's second down and one. Here's Hall again. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, they're aligned at the hip. 
And when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. So first and 10 now from the 30. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. He gets it underneath to Hall. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. Throwing is Rodgers. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five at this point. This is third and four. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A band of can on first and 10. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Paul on to give up the middle. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Rodgers now to throw. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor. Now he's loose at the 40 and all the way down to the 33-yard line. 55 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first.
Murray now to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. From 21 yards away. And the Cardinals continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Prater on to add the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. He scored their touchdown earlier, and this had a chance to be another. This secondary scrambled for answers, looking at each other, trying to figure out who is going to put the clamps on this guy, because right now, he's absolutely shredding them. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. A good position to be in here, second and inches. On play action, it's Rodgers. Connection made to Rucker. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. On first down, Rodgers. Into the hands of Williams across the formation. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. The give now to Abanacanda. And he's able to get it down to the 2-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. To throw is Rodgers. For a Jets touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Jets have cut it back within a score. We always admire a guy can go through his progressions and find the open receiver. I believe we just saw that there. And we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown. Now Zerline on to add the extra point.
And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now Greg Dortch going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Throwing now is Murray. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Throwing again, Murray. Pass to the right, and he's got McBride. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw, it's Murray. Going to look deep for Wilson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Shotgun now for Murray. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Here's Murray. And they'll get him down two yards shy after a pickup of eight. Fourth and two. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback.
The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, the Cardinals did what they always do, and that's rely on their quarterback, Kyler Murray. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Jets' offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And they trail here in this Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. Well, obviously, the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play. But the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit, too. Denied open windows. A race of quarterbacks targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. And they'll bring four receivers into the fold here. It's third and long. To throw, it's Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cards will take over first and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's incomplete. So many offense wide include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swim the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. He's got his tight end McBride on the out route. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Hassan Reddick in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. Three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. Taking it about the 16. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the Jets will take over. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Rodgers now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part. Our rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Cards are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 40. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That pass completed to Dorch. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Murray now. Got a man here, it's Wilson. Well, they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That goes for a gain of 31. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Play action. Now it's Murray. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. 
They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Their partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down, he might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He's been terrific so far. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Ball again on second down. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. A handoff for Hall. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Throwing now is Rodgers. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New York. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The football going back over to Arizona now. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. 
And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. From the 20, here's second down and five. Here's Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. A five-yard pass on first down and another five-yard connection there. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Murray now on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. On play action, it's Murray. Throw left side to Higgins. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. They'll try the left side with Connor. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Third and three. They fake the handoff, now Murray. Tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Here's Rodgers. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, 
We'll call this play significant. On the draw, it's Hall. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. To throw is Rodgers. And a check down complete to Hall. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. Here it's third and two. On play action, Rodgers. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. B.J. Ojolari in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 21. They begin on the ground here with Connor. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead, first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete to McBride. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Murray's throw caught by Higgins. <laughs> From just shy of midfield, here's a second and four. Now Murray. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 39. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the gun again to counter. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven. Now Murray off play action. 
offside, it's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Murray a give. This is Connor. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. And they'll come up second and seven. Murray now to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. From the gun, Murray. Touchdown! Trey McBride from eight yards out. And the Cardinals are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Now Prater to add the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points, and they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Here's a give to Hall, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second and eight coming from the 19. Rogers going to throw. Into the hands of Williams across the formation. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. 
It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Jeremy Ruckert from 10 yards out. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll try and run it here. And he will get into the two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And down he goes just beyond the 35. And that pretty move got him some extra space to run. 76 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Here now, second and four. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Open man is Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. They gave him the option there on third and short. Runner pass, you choose. And he decided to fling it out to the perimeter. And that was the right call as they pick up the first down. Murray now on first down. Over the middle here to Wilson. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack, and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one, but occasionally the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly, maybe someone tipped it off, but on that play, it had no chance. From the gun on third down, Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. And they're able to stop him short. On third and six, they'll only pick up four. Three. 
Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So Aaron Rodgers in his offense. Down by a field goal. A minute 55 remaining. They need at least a field goal to send this Super Bowl to overtime as they come up on first down. Now Rodgers. That's caught by Wilson. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Rodgers to throw. Complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. Obviously, a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They're going to get to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. This is first and 10. Back to throw. Rodgers. Throw out wide is incomplete. The nice thing is that you've still got all your timeouts, so the middle of the field, that should still be an option, especially if you see the defenders pinching high line. You can run a little seam route right here and pick up some nice yardage. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and 10. To throw is Rodgers. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it. And the Cardinals have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Again, it's Connor, and he is going to lose yardage here. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout 
And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded at the 20. A solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the meet. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had because those haven't been great, but they get a few more quality ones like that. That could finish things off for them. Open there here is Conklin. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. One final try for Rodgers. We've seen this before. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And the Cardinals have done it. They're the kings of the NFL. Arizona, your Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.